Hello and welcome back everybody, Lon Paul here. Another No Man's Sky run through for the Leviathan Expedition. So, uh, I believe we have three videos out now, this will be the fourth. Now, as has gone in the past, I usually am able to complete the entire expedition in four videos. Uh, four one hour videos, and I think I pr kept pretty close to the one hour mark on all of them. So, let's see how we do here today. So, we're picking up where we left off. We just need to learn some uh, words in an alien language. We're going to do that the next couple space stations between the one that I'm in, uh, not this one, but between the system I'm in now and the next system, we'll go ahead and learn uh, three more words of each of the languages. Uh, we also need to explore a freighter crash site. Now, as I was going through earlier before I started up the video, I do need to get some storm crystals that I haven't gotten yet. So I need to look for a hazardous planet to get them from. Also need to still find our pirate system. So those are the two, three, three or four di different big things we need to do here. So again, number two, learn, learn the words, explore freighter. So we've got to find those. That's two things. Uh, third thing is to collect the storm crystals. These will all fall in place. And then the fourth thing is to find a pirate system so we can get some uh, contraband. And those are big four things that we got to do right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, go over here, make sure the three words are highlighted. Good deal. And let's get a move on. So nothing to do here in the anomaly. Go ahead and go ahead and make our escape as we can. And uh, see what happens here. Okay, so first things first. We have this planet that we're just outside of. Aggressive Sentinels, nothing going on there. We want to see if there's anything that has activated Emerald. We could use regular Emerald at this point, which there's nothing activated. So no Storm Crystals in this system. Uh, I could use regular Emerald. I don't want to get it from this system because I do want to hit the space station over here to learn some words. So let's head towards the space station, wherever that lucky space station might be. Okay, here we go. Uh, where'd it go? Am I looking at it? There it is. And we're on our way. So, it's close to one of these two planets. It'll become more evident once we get really close. And then we'll jump on that planet. We'll go ahead and steal a little bit of emerald. I just want to do this in case I do need to build the indium drive. I'm not sure if I need it to visit a blue, blue star system or not but I'll get it anyway just in case. It's just a minor detour. I'll go ahead and pause the video while I collect it. Just need 250 emerald to get moving along here. And the rainy planet, even though there's probably some severe heavy storms there, uh, it should be well enough for me to just drop down there real quick, grab the emerald, and then we'll be on our merry little way. So first things first, we'll go ahead and hit the space station here in about 10 seconds. We'll learn some words, go from there. And I'll do a little bit more pausing here, because again, I want to keep the video under an hour. If I can manage it. Seems like there's a lot to do in an hour, but it's really, it's going to go pretty quickly. And I'll try to allow us to read more of what's going on. Um, guess what? It's a pirate space station. Unbelievable. Wish I'd known that earlier. Well, there we go. No, 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 no. Not pirate. It's a derelict space station. Nothing to do here. We're just going to go ahead and move on. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell the difference. Alright, so the planet we're closest to is this one, I believe. Uh, let's go ahead and head there. Yeah, I could have used that uh, asteroid belt earlier, couldn't I? Alright, looks like we got some land. Looks like it's in the midst of a storm, though. Right between the gap and the clouds. Alright. Those deposits are holes. Those are holes. We don't need nanites as much at this point anymore. So, not going to worry about getting them too, too much. Let's see. Emerald 161 right there. 
Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, that was a quick run, like I said. So we're all done with that. We're going to get out of the system. Okay. Go ahead and hit our hyperdrive. We're 100% charged in the hyperdrive. So we're going to follow our path to the next system. Now, if we hit the R button on here, we'll be able to see what the conflict levels are. And usually along the way, there is at least one uh, place that has pirate activity. Just make sure. It may be out of jump range, but I just want to make sure I could actually hit it without having to hit anywhere else. All right, let's see. I just want to see if there's any pirate systems close by we can hit real fast and just clear that out of our queue. And as we flit through these, you're going to see the pirate symbol at some point or another. I'm not seeing any at the moment. I was hoping there'd be one really close by, but... Okay, let's... This happened last time I was playing, too. Okay, we'll head here. Let's hit the space station, learn a few words of the Viking language. And usually when you get there, there's usually at least someone, one or two other species there. Usually either the Gek and or the Corvax will be there, too. There'll usually be one or two representatives. So we'll pick up a few extra words while we're there. And we get ourselves a space battle. Yay! Come on out of there. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my butt kicked. Uh, what am I? I haven't even shot at anybody yet, and I'm already getting my uh, oh, uh, driving me nuts. There we go. There we go. That's the whole reason why I wanted to do that. Don't want to use the missiles too close. These guys do get harder over time. Oh my gosh. This is part of the game, huh? Part of the mission. Great. I'm already damaged. And I had the one thing that I don't want to get damaged, get damaged. Forgot to switch weapons. Solar sail is the hardest thing to get repaired because you need deuterium. To get deuterium, you have to combine two components together and you can't find it naturally. So I may have to remove something in order to get what I need. What a mess. No, I'm not landing on the... Well, I ought to land on the freighter anyway. So maybe he'll have deuterium. Who knows? Let's do it. So let's see what we can get here. All right, I'll try to keep the uh, keep my mouth open a little longer and start talking a little bit more. 
All right, let's see what we got. Again, like we said, maybe we'll get fortunate. Oh, he probably won't give me anything directly like deuterium. He'll give me gold. Uh, I'll inspect just out of curiosity and see if we can exchange it for 1.9 million credits. Not happening. So let's take what he's got to offer. We'll get a little extra money out of it. Payment. Okay. Before we go, sometimes we're fortunate enough. See, we got some nanites out of it, and that's actually worth it. Huh. Interesting. Fascinating. Very, very fascinating. We have the Stella Extract cores here. I can't get out of them. Interesting way of setting up the ship, having everything in different areas. Huh. And I shouldn't have access to it, I wouldn't think, but this is really odd. Hmm. Pretty neat. <clears throat> Does this go anywhere? Nope. Hmm. Never would have thought about doing it that way. Have some external ha uh, hallways leading to uh, different areas. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, who do we got? Just me? I don't see any other ships. Let's head for the space station. Now, we won't learn any words here. You actually have to be on a space station. Those guys will just talk about their own ship and be very confusing towards me. Oh, worth a shot. So, yeah, we're damaged, just to see. Well, both of them are damaged. How nice. We have enough deuterium to repair one of them. So... I would rather repair this one and get a couple solar mirrors, to be honest, because that will help me greatly in the long run. I don't know what that gets me. Yeah, we could sell that. Alright. So let's see how we do here. Here are solar mirrors. We could create the solar mirrors ourselves, but I got the cash. I might as well go ahead and pick them up while I can. We'll hit a couple pilots over here. So let's talk to the Viking first. Uh, dialect. Friendship. Okay, that's one. Dialect. Keen. Two. Oh, interesting. We happen to have you know, these guys here. Dialect help. One from him. How about you? This will give me three for the Viking. And that's three for the Viking. Uh, we have a traveler, but he's not going to really count towards anything. We happen to have a Gek here. That's good. Dialect. So we should have one each for the Gek and the Corvax. Sometimes you can find a second one here floating around, but I don't see anybody at the moment. Okay, let's hit the uh, trade terminal. I happen to have a few items to get rid of. Let's get rid of the cargo bulkhead. Uh, yeah, we're not going to send a boundary map. Gravitational balls and the salvage data and the quantum computer. Or the multi-two expansion sets. The Viking effigy, the hydraulic wiring, or the Exosuit up upgrade card chart. So, there we go. We have the Emerald there, so we're going to be installing that in our ship as well. Let's go ahead and get the Indium drive going. Alright, leaving us with three wiring looms. And now we have the ability to hit uh, higher systems here. Hyperdrive range has only increased mildly. A few light years. 
And I never checked it for a solar mirror. I'll come back to it. I just wasted a little bit of time there. Sorry. Let's see what this guy has. Like I said, a little more deuterium and a solar mirror would be nice. You heard the ship too, right? Ah, there he is. Tall thing in the background. Yeah, yeah no, I don't like the incongruous shape of it. Though it does look like it's holding a sword or something like that. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, what do you got? Chamber, really? You're useless. We'll check this guy real quick, and then we'll go to the other side. We'll get we gotta get rid of some of the uh, things we don't use or need for nanites, upgrades, and stuff like that that we're not really interested in. Oh, okay. What do you got? A little bit different stuff. Uh, let's grab some more phosphorus for those hot planets. I know we need once in a while, but you don't have anything I need. Up we go. The other guy's gone. Let's get my exosuit upgrade. Uh, let's see. Tempting on putting it up there, but I'd like to finish these three out, so... And we'll use you to get rid of some stuff. Personal force field and sentinel weapon shard. Okay, we're up to three grand again. And movement module, radiation protection. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see, let's check the trade terminal in here. I just need a couple solar mirrors. Like I said, I could always get some more, uh, make them on my own, but it'd be nice if I could just get some. Nope, not today. Okay. And there's nobody even use or trying to talk to in here, because uh, they're just offering their services to you to go to your base that you do not have. So no use in even trying. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to be making a solar mirror at this point, or two, I should say. So I do want to get my pulse drive back online. Yeah, you don't have anything I need either. Okay. So to get the solar mirror, we need gold, silver, chromatic metal. Which we do have plenty of gold and silver. I can see it down there, and if I'm not mistaken, we have plenty of chromatic metal too. Okay, so we can at least get you fixed. But we're not going to be able to get you repaired. I don't have any deuterium and no way to get more. Afraid we're going to have to get rid of you. Okay. That's the end of that. It gives us an extra wire loom because of that, but <clears throat> that's the end of that, unfortunately. So the problems you run into along the way. Even though my shields were up, I got easily damaged, and I don't know why. Okay. So let's head over to the next system. I want to check the planets real quick while we're here. Which we can do, because they've already been discovered at some point. Uh, aggressive copper and copper. No activated, so we're not going to get any of those. So let's go ahead and get the uh, hyperdrive going. Okay, once again, take a quick look. Oh, look at that pirate controls right there. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the pirate system. Let's get that out of the way. Get our contraband, and then we'll go to the waypoint. Rendezvous? Rendezvous. Third rendezvous. All right, let's see. So it's going to be a couple more jumps before we see another battle, I hope. Shield batteries would be kind of nice. All right. Where is our space station? There we go. Oop. Okay, that was a bit weird. I hate that. Uh, let's see. I think I'm oriented right. Yep. And here's our pirate space station. Here's where we get our contraband. And of course, you got to have plenty of credits to, or units to start with. Alright. Then we'll 
we'll talk to some people here too. I think we can do that. And upgrade. All right, what do we got? Corvax. Dialect help. Hmm. Gotta remember that going to a pirate system might be better because you have different varieties of creatures here. Okay, that should get Corvax completed. And we should just need two more Gek. Alright, we have any more Geks floating around? Nope, nope, I guess we had gotten a Gek earlier. Good deal. So that completes that one out. Let's get some contraband. Our trade terminal over here. Uh, you can look for things that are the illegal black market goods and just try to get as much of it as you can. There we go. And that should be it. And you can check in here to see if there's anything else worth your time. And Not usually, so I don't usually grab anything more. There should be nothing else to get here. You can check over here if you got enough nanites, but honestly, these aftermarket upgrades are still going to be royally expensive. Not worth your time. So, anywho, moving on. So we don't have anything else to repair. We're in good shape otherwise. Uh, we have our contraband products. Let's go ahead and head out. Now, there shouldn't be anybody that tries to scan me from here. But let me check the planets real fast to make sure there's no place I can get. Uh, copper, 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 and copper. No activated copper, right? Nope. Okay. So, we're just going to move on to the next system. Kind of boring, I know. Now we're getting someplace. And we'll get our reward here in just a minute. So, you're carrying contraband. you got to be careful the authorities don't scan your ship. So just head straight for the space station and get rid of it all. Okay, there we go. located down freighter so that's our next thing to be looking for we should find one in the system here yeah we do have to go through a freighter I forgot about that too we do have to go through a crashed freighter as well a uh, one in space to find out what happened and to acquire the whistle flute or whatever it's called uh, yeah trade terminal let's sell the illegal goods There we go. And you see you're selling it for quite a bit of a profit. So it's worth it. And that should get our achievement. There we go. Completed the smuggling run. So let's get our rewards real quick. We've got universal language. We're not going to install that language unit. There's no use to doing so. Memory Fragment will work on. So let's get the other reward. That's in Iteration 5, which is right here. Okay, we got a Forged Passport. Unearthed Treasure times 4 and more Memory Fragments. So while you're here, get rid of those immediately. Because they will only cause you tears. Uh, let's see here. The Forged Passport, because it's smuggled. No use of keeping it. And these get you 7 million credits. So... And there goes the numbers units up to 12 and a half mil. Sweet. So we're not hurting for money anymore. And we don't need to get any words. Now we could get... To look for crashed sites, we could do that. I'm going to give this a chance. Let's look at the system real fast and see if we have... Oh, there's only two planets. Copper and copper. Let's just check the planets real quick, because I just have a funny feeling 
that somebody has been kind enough to put a base or mark a spot where there is a freighter crashed. Let's see, shall we? Overseer office, I don't know what that's about. Where's the other planet at? Uh, let's see. Over here. Activated copper. That's weird. That is really weird. Why didn't it show up as such on our... Hmm. Well, the thing that we'll get here, because it's activated copper, is we'll get storms, and because we're getting storms, we'll get storm crystals. Which is one of the achievements we need to get. Now, see, there's a communication relay over there. The bottom right, and more bases are starting to appear. So... Let's jump out for just a second. Save beacon. Let's head to the save beacon. I just got a feeling. There's one on the right as well, but I just got a funny feeling that save beacon's going to mark something. Hence the cooperative nature of our fellow players. Oh wow, he's really on the other side of the planet here. He or she, I know. But it's such an unusual spot, it just gives me a hope that we're going to find a freighter here. I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, it just looks like a safe beacon. Okay, well, it's worth a shot. Okay. Alright, how far away are those? That's an hour away. And that's 20 minutes. Okay, let's go up to the atmosphere. This is going to take some slogging through, so I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick, and we're going to go ahead and look for those freighters. I know I'm going to find something. I'll be right back. So we're back, and what I forgot about is that I'm actually at the third anchor point, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the anchor point. Now, I also noticed something else, that even so, though, looking at the planet saying it had activated, uh, whoops, activated copper, we're in the middle of a storm right now, and I'm not seeing anything that looks activated to me, no storm crystals or anything like that. So, we are just going to look for the anchor point, which I want to say is right there. Let me just check. Uh, that's a minute away. That's not it. These storms suck because you can literally not see a stinking thing. Hmm. Do we take advantage of it? Let's do so for a moment. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's great. It has no idea where it is. So it's just general direction over here. Alright. Okay. That's not what I was trying to do. We want to charge up the landing. That launch thruster is at 100%. We're in good shape. Let's go ahead and do this. So apparently the... Oh, hello. Okay. Whoa, okay. So the little uh, cylinders that stick up out of the ground that teach you words. Knowledge stones. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. We're on a very steep slope, as you can see. Okay. Let's see if we can just do this. See if we can charge up that... My exosuit's uh, ability. So it's apparently this way. Oh, 
I'm not sure what the rare weather, the, the severe weather event is here, but I don't see anything going on. Oof. Oy. Ah, that's almost confusing. Yeah, we're getting closer, though. Hope we don't run into any of those worm... Ah. Good grief going up these hills. I'm even getting tired holding down the button. Just kidding. Just kidding. Guess I maybe should have stayed over there? Oh. Always welcome. There we go. Grab some of that while we're here. I think I've got a full stack of it in my inventory now that I think about it. Eh, not bad. 300. That'll keep me going for a little while. Okay, it is down this way. Or over this way. It could be it right over there. Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me. It's right there. Ah, uh, I bet you that's it. Yep, it sure is. I should have stayed there. I couldn't see it in the storm. That's okay. You live, you learn. Sorry about that. Ah, good day from down under. I hate hilly planets. Oh, God, you're not kidding, my friends. Hello from Spain. Hello back to you. Hello, very nice to see you, Mr. Blackman. Blackmon. Desert free storms. I know, right? <laughs> I do like my good old permadeath runs. All right. One more. Three. Well, right back at you, pal. Okay, so we did get that. Let's go ahead and recharge my... Oh, because I wasn't on something like that. That's right. Okay, well, good. So while we're here, let's go to here so we can get the mission real fast. Uh, collect our reward. Did we? We never opened up our rewards. Yep, ain't getting anything out of that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was useless. Okay. Alright, so things to sell. Let's just see. Minotaur. Minotaur. Advanced traits later. We'll get rid of that. Optical drill. About time. We can use that. Uh, radiation protection module. So, yeah. We're going to not use that. Because we've already got one. Let me just check it real quick. Significant upgrade. Significant upgrade. Okay, good. Thermic layer. No. That's okay. We're not going to need that either. Okay, good. Let's put this in my ship. Alright. So, we need to get that real quick. So that way we can do that. Alright. 
Loop manifestation, where are you at? You're over to the right. You're still to the right? How far to the right do I have to go? Okay. How far? Eight minutes. A little too long. We're going to hit the Atmo. No, this is leaving the Atmo. That's right. So we've left the Atmo. We're now going to re-hit the Atmo. And, ugh. Watch for... My gosh, this is terrible. No way. Very helpful. Dimwit. down there six minutes away all right let's go ahead and pause here for a second and i'll come back to you when i find it and we're back so here we are today should have been their hour was at hand i recorded the pods every move biding precious time nothing i've ever seen their hulking forms lit up by the sun i knew I must capture must be mine everything was prepared the ambush engine faster than i thought possible as though it knew where I would fly, even before I... Great tentacle hugged, pressing to the bone, and I... Fused now. Not a bad grammar there. And we're on protocol warning. Life support power low. Claim the memory. Oh, crap. Okay. Those are actually worth something, so it's not a bad idea to grab them if you can. But I forgot that that was going to happen, so... Here we are. Let's get in the ship. Oh, the guy hit me just as I was getting in. Jerk. Alright, what do we get? Eh, they're only worth 16 units, but for some reason... I wanted to grab it anyway, but these are worth a little bit more. Okay, so do we need it? Not really. We got it. Let's move on. So we collect our reward. We can produce our own memory fragment now. So let's do that real quick. Okay. So we get this memory fragment we're going to put here. We're going to produce our own real quick. We're going to go ahead and open it right away. Geology cannon. Yep, that's useful. Okay, we should get that achievement. There it is. Okay, so we're kind of moving along with these. Let's collect the reward. So believe it or not, I'm not mistaken, we just have to collect the two storm crystals to complete iteration three. We're not even done with number two yet because we've got to find a crash freighter, which I still haven't found. Or we just have to reach the anchor point and witness the folly and five is going to take a little bit longer. Okay. Let's go ahead and get out of here, because this turned out to be a flub of a situation here. We'll go to the next system and see what we can find. So before we do that, I'm going to head in the direction of anchor point number four. We are going to have to charge our hyperdrive soon. Okay, three planet system here. Let's see what we can find. And we'll go from there. Hydration. Activated copper straight ahead. So that's good. You just have copper. 
All right, there's another planet somewhere over in that general area. All right, so before I do this, do we need the space station? Not just yet. Let's go ahead and head over here. Uh, well, scan the planet. Okay, nothing special. Let's move on. Uh, I don't know if I want the save beacon or not, but I'll head to the planet anyway. Let's see what we can find. It definitely has activated copper. It's a tropical planet, so there should be some serious storms here. So we should be able to get our storm crystals. Love to find a crashed freighter. Maybe we'll get fortunate. Who knows? And we can complete out a couple more things, because we're already at the 40-minute mark of this recording, so... Yeah. And I don't see a whole lot of other things showing up on the planet from anybody else, so... Let's head towards the save beacon in the hopes that maybe somebody did mark something kind of cool. Do we have a storm going on? Ugh, it looks like the same kind of planet. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, look, ship, storm crystals right over there on the left. Okay, but we don't have a storm going on yet. Okay, good deal. Creatures. Yep, I gotcha. Let us go over here and we'll wait. How many we got? Three. It's perfect. It's what we need. Communication beacon over there. We'll just discover some things while we're here. Make sure there's nothing's gonna be here to eat us. Okay. Already discovered five species in the span of about, uh, what, 20 seconds. Okay, they're not dangerous at all. Now, because this is also a half water planet, that means that some of the other creatures are gonna be in the water. Fortune doesn't look like there's anything around that's going to attack us anyway, so we should be in good shape to hang out and wait. So, guess what we get to do now? We get to pause until such time as we uh, get our storm going. See you guys in a few minutes. Well, it'll be seconds for you, but you know what I mean. Okay, we have our incoming storm. Only took a couple extra minutes. No big deal. So once it hits peak temperature, these should activate. There they are. Oh, great. We've got a wind event coming in now, too. We don't want to get caught in any of those. So, in case you're wondering what that is, look closely at the... Get rid of the stupid thing in this sense. You can see there's a tornado over there. And there should be a few of them floating around. But they basically start heading towards you, and they can pick you up, toss you in the air at great distances. So, you don't want to get caught in those. Not in permadeath mode, it could hurt. I also opened up the packaging and I ended up with another warp hyper core. Go figure. So we should be all set for the rest of our journey. And a couple other things that we didn't actually need, so we're we're in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and get our achievement real fast. This finishes out this one. This will be iteration three is now complete, even though iteration two hasn't even been finished yet. Okay, good deal. So let's head towards the, uh, to number four, I guess, at this point. It's probably our next best bet, because we, even though we have to explore a freighter crash site, we might as well just keep going for the time being. We can finish out number four as well while we're at it. Oh, and I got some Quicksilver. Look at that. 1,800. Nice. All right, what do we get? More of that. No, we're definitely not going to do that. 
Oh, it's in my starship, sorry. Okay, this is what? Scanner module, always helpful. I'm not even going to worry about what is on it. Uh, movement module, I'll take that. What is it going to give us? Nice, okay, that is always very helpful. Okay, some more stuff to sell. We've got a lot of things to sell at a space station, but we'll get there when we get there. All right, so I'm going to go on to the next system. There's not enough planets here to really worry about. We've got one more charge left on our hyperdrive to get there. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, so we'll head there. You see, it's pretty far away. I kind of wish I had a better hyperdrive unit, but that's okay. Another pirate system is what we're headed to here. Looks like only a few planets. So we want to find a crashed freighter. We also need to explore a derelict freighter, but we have to wait on the derelict freighter until phase five, and we can get a little further in there. And I won't even go into detail. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me, another battle. It's happening more and more often. Ugh, annoying the piss out of me. Because it doesn't until I actually hit him with a gun. Let's get the next one. Get him away from the ship. Our shields are already down to halfway. What's going to get damaged this time? My life support on my exosuit? Hit the wrong ship. Wrong ship again. Sorry, a little focus concentration there. That's the last guy. At least I got some star shield. Now, did we get damaged? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's head to the space station for a minute. Actually. I don't really care to meet these guys. I'm not getting much out of them, and I gotta get rid of some of this inventory I've got on my person. And then we'll check some of the things out while we're here. Let's just take a look. I want to check out the planets. Two planets, great. Copper and annoying. Okay. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff on me. Start with you. Uh, yeah, multi-tool expansion slots, flesh rope. Uh, yeah, yeah, whoop dee dee too, I agree. The storm crystals and the vile spawn. Okay, we're done there. I'm not buying anything from you. But you, we can sell the rest of the stuff too. Geology, radiation, minotaur, translator unit, thermic layer, personal force field, toxic suppressor. Did we get anything from you? Photon cannon? Yeah, we could use that upgrade. Let's hope it's something decent. Scatter blaster module. We'll go ahead and take it. Give me a little bit more damage. That's nice. Photon cannon in here. 4,000 damage, at least it's a little bit more. Great if I can get a ship shield out of this. 
hazardous protection module. Here, could you? Oh, nope, we wanted that there. Okay. There. Okay, we're in good shape. Back to the starship. We got all kinds of crap we can sell here, too. This is handy, finally. We got one of those. It's nice. We don't need the Walker Brain anymore, though. I might hang on to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to hang on to that. Okay. Don't need anything else here. And this system is absolutely useless in every other respect. Okay. Let's hope the next system has more planets to it. it. Looks like four. Let's go ahead and grab it. That should get us what we need. All right. So... Yeah, this one's kind of... Uh, we're completing a lot of milestones, so that's good. But... We're not getting everything we need. The important things we're not getting. Like I said, we had four main points to get. We're not getting. So, let's check real quick. Uh, copper. Copper. Copper, and... Hey, look at that copper. So this is not going to help us at all. Let's just get the broadcast. It's just the usual crap part of the main. It's just a uh, planet in distress, which we're going to jump back out of that. And I just realized I don't have anything selected. Anchor point four is where we're going next. So that should be our... There we go. Okay, good. That should be our goal. The planet in distress is not part of your mission. So no use in going there. Let's see. Okay, this is good. We've got a five planet system. There's got to be something here we can we could find. If worse comes to worse, what I'll do is I'll drop by the vendor on the space station and I'll get some uh, planetary charts and I'll start looking for a freighter that I can scrounge some stuff from. So... Hopefully no more battles. It looks like it's happening in just about every second or third jump. Seems to be a battle now. So they're making this as difficult as possible for everybody. Oh, look. Clouds in space. While we're landing, let's take a quick peek. Uh, copper, 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 copper. Copper and copper, so we don't, we're not going to find anything here. Okay. Well, we don't need the activated copper anymore. I don't know why I'm looking. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the freighter at this point. So that is in the second expedition to explore a freighter crash site. So we're going to see if we can't find that this time around. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some charts from our vendor up there. And... See you all in just a couple of minutes. So I'm back with you. So I'm going to teach you a little something here that you may or may not know about. So if you get yourself some of these planetary charts, you're going to find usually one of either three or four things. And if you hit it one time, it'll give you the first thing it'll find. Like in this case, it gave me an abandoned building. The second one found me this, which is a distress beacon for a crashed starship. So I can grab that too if I want and uh, get myself some extra cash. Not really interested. I wouldn't mind checking it out to see what it is. But the third time I hit it, it gave me the freighter. So don't check the sites yet. Just do it. Keep spamming it until you get what you're looking for. So there's a little trick there. I learned that a long time ago. Well, not so long ago, to be honest with you. So we are here. So we have to check out this crash site real quick. Log extraction. I think it's just the standard. Oh, the life is not like for me. Several energy systems. Sentinels. Okay, it's just about the guard to the sentinels. So this is nothing special. It's like the rain. And there you go. We don't have to check any of the things. I'm not really in the mood to do so. So I'm just going to give that up. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. So our second iteration is complete. So we're going to get that. Tem temporal Starship. So let's take a quick peek. So one is complete, two is complete. And you notice that they, like I said, they get, they get the optional. Two is complete. Three is complete. Four, we're on our way. We're going to finish that out real quick here. This is probably going to run over just a little bit, and then we'll get to five. So we're going to get to the fourth anchor point. Now, I am very sure that you all are curious as to what that ship is, so I'm just going to check it out real fast. This is a moon, so it shouldn't take very long to get there. There it is. It says it'll take a minute to get there, but I doubt it. We get into the upper atmosphere up here. Just float up a little bit higher. 18 seconds. Yeah, there we go. It's tough to do this because the moon is so tiny. And let's plunge down. Let's just see what kind of ship it is. I'm curious. Eh, just a cargo, not a cargo, shuttle. Come on. It is a B-class shuttle. It says it's worth 12.5, but probably not. Opportunity to get a little extra technology, we'll go ahead and grab it. Ah, uh, look at the function of technology. Yeah, economy scanner, go figure. Now that we can build that, we can continue going if we want, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, let's finish up. Come on. Some nanites. I'm not going to grab anything else. We're going to go ahead and continue on. All right, we're on our way. Let's get out of this atmosphere. And there we go. Hyperdrive. And this should get us to our fourth iteration, anchor point number four. So everything else is pretty standard from here. We got the main things done that we wanted to, to accomplish. We are going to have to get a derelict freighter in space. But again, we have to wait until that opens up in the in uh, uh, iteration five. All right, so where is our... I bet you anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what we want. Oh, you know what? There we go. Last time this happened, when I was going to anchor point four, I think a derelict freighter popped up in space. Let me just see what happens here. And the only thing you're really interested in the derelict freighter is just to get to the very depths of it. Oh, great. Good timing. Just what I need. Let's go fight some pirates. You know what? Let's talk to them. Uh, 62,000? No, let's comply. 250. I don't mind. No way I don't have to fight the pirates right now. And 250,000, I mean, I got 14 mil, so I'm not really too concerned. That way we can continue on. And I wonder, did you even know we could do that? Some of you did. I'm sure a lot of you did. But there's some people out there I'm sure didn't realize that you could get that done. Uh, let's see. So there's the point. It might be over there on the right, but I seem to think it's over here on the... Well, wait a second. Nope, it's right here. Okay. Plop. Whoa. Almost.
almost there. Almost there. What do we got? Happy holidays from New York. Very nice. Go vegan this Christmas. <laughs> Captain Steve, hey. Where'd he go? Captain Steve, YouTube was here. Fascinating, Captain Steve. Good for you, man. Ah, and thanks for all the fish. Ah, yes. Hey, yeah, that's me. I didn't know I'd see my own uh, communication terminal. That's very interesting. All right, good job, good job, guys. Let's go ahead and get my left reward. Okay. Get back in your ship. Let's get the memory. We're exactly an hour right now. Uh, where are you? How far away? Oh, an hour. You don't mind uh, flying straight, right? Yeah, you're right, me too. Weird sky. That was a very strange sky. Good. I thought it was going to accidentally lock onto that communication terminal. Alrighty. So, you know what we're looking for. Could be high, could be low. Let's see where he might be this time. Watch the radar. Oh, wait, 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 there it is. Look at my radar. Literally right here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Stop hitting the wall. There he is, right there. Ugh, wow. That made me dizzy. Oh, good, we're gonna land right next to those stupid pods. Good, here we go. Well, that was fast. The chase is over and I have lost. The giants will endure and I will end. As my vessel plummeted hull splintering out of orbit, I saw another ship, another, and another, but phasing memories. Must have imagined it. The misfiring of a dying. Those creatures were so beautiful, like nothing I've ever. But it is all ended now. The great whales will haunt. I dream no longer. Protocol warning, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we got it. Let's get this one completed. And guess what? That means number five is complete. Four. Four is complete, pardon me. So we've got that done. You get a decorative item for that one. And so we got one, two, three, four, and we're on to number five. So we're going to go to that ne next anchor point. Let's see what we got in our inventory. Okay, we got scatter blaster modules. Great. That's 9165. You know, I don't know if I really care as much right now. Yeah, plus one damage. 12.55 plus five fire rate, so this one's not as good. It's three damage. Alright, we'll get rid of you. So, real quick. Hey, come on now. Plus one damage, plus five fire rate. See, that's got more pluses, though. So, I don't know. I think I like that better. 12. Okay. Bye. And last one. I keep doing that. What do we got? Plus one. Nope. Bye. Okay. And these can go in there. Keep those. Let's get in my ship while we can. Okay, and we'll just open these up, and I don't need these, I'm going to just get rid of them. Put that my ship. Okay, this one can go in the starship right here next to the others. Okay. Minotaur. 
bowcaster. I don't have a bowcaster. Uh, geology cannon again. That's probably bowcaster again. Minotaur, good. Minotaur engine, minotaur bore units, so we could sell all those. All right, not that we're going to be doing that anytime soon. Let's take off. Let's go to iteration or anchor point five now. Uh, nothing to charge there. Not worried about it. Okay. So iteration five is over here, anchor point five. So we've got a medium jump to get to it. Hopefully we don't get another space battle here in the middle of it all. Honestly, I think if another battle pops up, I'm just going to head for the space station and call it. Getting kind of tired of the space battles after a while for this particular uh, expedition. Oh my gosh, you've got to be joking with me here. There we go. A normal memory resonance detected loop collapse event in progress. Okay. Really strange. Tell you what, our inventory is a little full. Let's just go ahead and clear out of the inventory and we'll take off from here real fast. First things first, we could use an upgrade to our exosuit, but I don't think we really need it anymore. But you do get to a point where you don't need them anymore. Okay. Ah, I hate when I do that. Hey guys, nice to see you. Uh, let's see. Starship. Shh. Don't say anything. He's concentrating. Brain. We'll get rid of the living pro. I'm going to hang on to the walker brain. Just I have a hunch. That's all. Okay. Let's get out of here and reach our fifth anchor point. Okay. On our way. We do have one battle that we won't have any choice but to fight in, and we're going to be fighting living ships. So keep that in mind. It's just a group of living ships, usually I think two or three of them, I think it's three of them, if I'm not mistaken, and they will want to fight you. No shields, but it just takes a while to take them out. Alright, where's my anchor point? There it is. So this may happen on this last anchor point here. A fiery dread world. That sounds like a nice vacation home to go after. Let's see what we get. Nope, not interested. Okay. Because sometimes you get the derelict freighters in that case without even using your freighter locating beacon. So that's interesting. So we're at about a minute, an hour 10 here. Give just shy of it. And I'm up a little bit later than I anticipated. But hopefully we'll be able to complete this out and call it. There we go. And there's a save beacon there. I'm going to believe him this time and head for the save beacon. Eventually we'll get there. Come on. And I see a communication. And there it is. Okay, good. 
Hello. There you go. Merry Christmas from Indiana. Very nice. I landed in the middle of your ball. Sorry. Okay, we're going to grab that real quick. And we're just going to make sure that is selected. Now the dreadful whaling is this. It doesn't seem to do anything at all. Yeah, we'll get the pulse engine module. We could always use that again. Yeah, I'll throw it in there. I don't really need it. Okay. I know, I know. Let's just get a quick run through. Hello? Okay. Get some quiet communication units here. Yada, we did it. What to look key? Portal is here. Incoming firestorm. Yep, well, we're out of here. Now, pay attention, because I think this is where our battle comes. Oh, I forgot. We have to get back to the planet's surface. My bad. Use the memory resonator thing. I had to be within the planet's atmosphere. Once we get that weird tone, there it is. A little bit lower. Okay, now let's try using it. Okay, we're at. There it is. How uh, far? 30 minutes. Not willing to wait. Let's head up. There we go. On our way. And of course, it's the middle of the storm, so. Uh, let's see. Watch carefully. Radar. Lots of worms. Okay, that was weird. Eh, why not? Let's make sure our landing launch pad is fully charged, because you need it here. 1300 that way? Oh my gosh. Directly behind me. Ah, uh, now we're going to take a jaunty little retreat back that way. It's going to be generally this way. Probably at least the next hill. Slow. Fly slow. Down here, maybe? Let's land. Still 760 that way. It's okay. Not something I like to do very often. Just checking. A little bit further towards the hill. Ah, oh, this is very delicate. Sorry. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. Got yeah, some vegetation while we land. Right there. There we go. Let's get this last one. We'll read this one out loud, of course. I came face to face. That expanse. More bizarre than anything I've seen. I have no discernible, it had no discernible eyes, but it was not blind, regarding me warily, as though it had anticipated. It was huge, glorious, serene, weightlessly in a nebula. But then, a flick of its tentacles and gone. 
I have thought of nothing else since, no sense of time, how long I've been wandering this. I can only think of the whale. Whale, whale, whale. Whale, whale, whale. And he's losing his mind. Critical warning. Dreadful whaling. Anything popping up? No? Okay, I think this is where I get attacked. Where ship? Ship over here. Not here on the planet, but this is where the living ships will attack me in space. Alright, let's get in the ship and get out of the storm. Real quick. I'm gonna correct that. You notice that the other ones are starting to come up. What do we got next? Yep. Shattered past. Excess coverage since I've been really good. Explore deep space. Okay. So guess what we're going to find. Okay. Let's get this. Put you down here. That's number five. We've got some tainted metal. Okay. All right. Here we go. So this is going to get us to the crashed freighter in space. But we're probably going to have ships attacking me anytime now. No? No? Let's see what happens, shall we? Let's see what happens. Any time now. Guess what? See, so you don't need to use the emergency broadcast receiver. Okay. So you do need cold protection here, so make sure your exosuit has that. See, I don't have any dioxide to recover, but I, got, I should have enough batteries. Yeah, I got 75. Okay, plenty of cargo space, so because not saved aboard derelicts. And we're going to get our scatter blaster ready. Uh, we don't really need any of these items, so I'm just going to keep going. So what we're going to do here, if you've ever been on a derelict freighter, I'll just show you real quick. You have heating units that you should activate while you go, and you have supply areas and, chat and crates that you can collect stuff in. This gives you some basic items. As you can see, very nice items that you really could use, including repair kits and stuff like that. So it's good to get it. But your gravity, pardon me, your jetpack will not work on board the ship. Okay, unseal the door. Okay, so when you go through, you could fight all kinds of different things. Okay. See, you're going slow. You got these units up here that you can shoot if you wish. And it's got chests and stuff like that. But we do kind of need to get to this because it gets us credentials and a security credit credential. There's really nothing else that we need off the ship except the main thing at the very end. So what we're going to do, first turn on my light, what we're going to do is go straight to the bowels and just go from there. I'm not going to worry about picking up anything on the way. So I'll go ahead and pause until I get down there, folks. And we're done. And that literally only took a few minutes. And I went the wrong way. So we're exiting the ship. And we'll show you what we got in just a couple moments. Okay, so here we are. So here's what we picked up. Uh, we got a little bit of tainted metal. I got some credentials that we could sell if we wish. These things we could sell. This we're going to keep because we need the Somno dust. We actually needed, I think, 30 of it. Some Hadal cores, whatever. Put that in there. Put that in my ship. Okay. Okay, so we're actually in pretty good shape. So what did we get out of this? We're going to collect our reward, which is the whale song flute, which requires 32 somnol dust. We have just enough. We have 38 or 39. We ancestral memories. Remember, I told you to hang on to them. And the same thing with the liquid sun. So now we can make the whale song flute. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and actually create that. We can sell this later. I'm not going to worry about it. So, whale song flute, here we go. I'll make it down here. And there we go. It is now present. And we assembled it. That's our next to last milestone. See? So what does that get us? We just have to meet the end, which is meeting the Leviathan. And now we just have to call it and we finish our expedition. So an hour 20, that's not too terrible. We got a couple extra things. These are kind of the last ditch uh, units. I could have used you earlier. Thank you very much. 132 light years. A nice little module for my exosuit. Let me see here. 125. Eh, why not? Okay. Something to sell. All right, let's finish out our expedition, folks. Launch into space. Did I get the... Oh, cool. I'll take it. I could use some extra armor. Okay, so as we head out... We don't have to go into pulse drive, we just have to play the whale song flute. So let's go into our exosuit. And you'll see there's a little spot that appears. And this is the whole point behind the whole expedition of the Leviathan. Is you meet a Leviathan. Frigate. And you want to talk to it? I remember you. I remember all of you. Now we can choose any one of these. It really doesn't make make a difference. Say you are sorry. That's what I'm going to choose. The modulation in the pattern. Are you ready, traveler? Are you ready to end the loop? Ask what that means. I know you have forgotten, but I endure. I cannot forget. The beginning was marked by the ending of my life. Only a reversal of fates can untie the loop. Say you are ready. So you know what happens? I think I'm ready to submit to the Leviathan. Here we go. So what just happened, right? You die a second time. Unbelievable. But here's the thing. It's, it's a loop reset. And you literally do not lose anything. You just go right back into your save and go back. And this is the end of the expedition. The reward is you get to now find Leviathan style frigates for your freighter. So if you've seen my main save uh, on occasion when I've been on my freighter, you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of frigates around it. I've got the maximum amount. Half of them are living frigates. Half of them are Leviathans. So they're very versatile. They can be even changed for your liking. So, we basically reappear on the same planet we started at. Hi, Wormy. And you know what? We don't have to head towards our ship if we don't want to. But, we're in the middle of a storm. Let's give it a shot. I love storms when it comes to jetpacks. There we go. Wow, look at everybody over here. Now the thing that I haven't done here is I have not put a communication ball down over here. I need pure ferret to do it. But I have pure ferret. Unbelievable. So let me go ahead and do that as a last ditch thing. Let's go ahead and put the batteries in. We don't have to save them anymore. We have plenty of ferrite, but no pure ferrite. Let's just go ahead and drop it in my exosuits container here. Just need 20. And 
as I always like to do, I change my color. And we'll put mine right about here. Leave a message. There we go. I like to change up the color a little bit. It gets a little too mundane. So, basically, take a look at our expedition real quick. We are done. Let's collect our reward. We get frigate fuel, fuel oxidizers, which are just basically add-ons for your frigate so that you can, uh, for your missions and stuff like that. And you get some fireworks. Shall we? Probably looks better at night. Yeah, I'd say. Looks very pretty. Very nice. So that closes out our expedition. And we really appreciate you watching. Let's go ahead and get the last of the expedition rewards. We got a blueprint, which is going to be some posters and banners and stuff like that. And, of course, our main is getting the actual Leviathan organic vessel, which is a beautiful vessel. It's got a lot of rounded numbers on here. It's already in S-Class, so it's, always, it's very, very nice. So there we are, folks. That is the end to the expedition. As you can see, everything is done. The final loop is complete. We're basically finished. It stays open so that way as these um, optional cycles keep getting completed, you can get them and it, it just basically adds to the exper experience of the uh, whole thing. If you especially want to keep this and make it in your main, make it a main save for yourself later on. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did. I always had a great time with this one. This one was always kind of very, very odd, very strange to have to deal with. Um, but I've liked it. I liked it along the way. Not my favorite. As you know, my pirates are the favorite one, but this is a very close second. So, anyway, uh, as I always say, uh, never criticize kindness. Always be kind to others when you can. And, of course, always be truthful in everything that you do, especially to yourself. That's where it starts. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And hit the like button if you get a chance. Thank you very much. Take care.